Hey, I want to teach you how to be better at Winter Todd so you can get more XP and more loot rolls every hour. If you've never been to Winter Todd, that's fine. I'm going to give a quick overview, and during that time, I'll also explain some simple techniques that you can use to greatly increase your efficiency. A lot of people don't realize it has a face, but there it is. So be nice, it has feelings. So, how do you get here? Let's start from a place that I know you're familiar with. Noob. Head to Port Serum and talk to Veos to travel to the Great Karen. Once you arrive in Port Piscarillus, just head northwest all the way to the Northern Tundras. Or just use a game's necklace. The basic idea behind Winter Todd is just building a fire and somehow that kills the Winter Todd. Somehow. To subdue the Winter Todd, you need an axe, tinderbox, and hammer, and for this method we're also going to use a knife. Wearing up to 4 warm items will also help you take less damage. Yes, you take damage, this is not a safe death, so bring some food. This isn't required, but I do find it to be very useful. I filter the game chat, turn public chat off, and then I turn Entity Hider on. Winter Todd can be kind of toxic, and this helps focus on what's important. The gains. Also, I know this sounds annoying, but I highly recommend turning sound effects on, that way you can hear when you get damaged and need to click again. Once you're ready to conquer the Winter Todd, Enter the doors of Din and head on over to the east side. Yes, the east side is far superior. If you know anyone from the west side, you're basically a god to them. But how do you play? Cut this branch, get logs, put in fire. Doing this will give you points, and if you have at least 500 points when the game ends, you get a loot crate and a fat XP drop. Okay, let me break it down. Burning a Bruma log is 10 points. This is done to get the best fire making XP per hour. If you fletch that log, you get Bruma Kindling, which will give 25 points. This is done to get the most points per hour, resulting in the most loot rolls per hour. Finally, repairing or lighting the brazier will give 25 points each. Be aware that these happen randomly, so you need to be looking out. Winter Todd has three attacks. Let's go over them. The standard attack is completely unavoidable and is based upon many factors which are on the screen now. For this guide, just focus on wearing four warm items and you should be fine. The second attack is called the Area Attack. You will see snow particles forming for about 3-4 to four seconds before the hit actually lands in a 3x3 three three square. So just move out of the way and you'll avoid it. When you're chopping the Bruma Root, there is a safe spot here where this attack will never hit. Last of all, the Brazier Attack. This is once again forecasted by snow particles forming over the Brazier, and it can be avoided by just moving one tile away from it. So, how do we maximize our loot rolls and XP per hour? Normally, when a round ends, there's about a minute downtime before the next round begins. By hopping to another mass world, we can remove virtually all downtime. The only trick is finding a world where we still have time to get the 500 points needed to enjoy that sweet, sweet XP drop. To scout worlds, you can either use an alt account and just hopping between the four mass worlds, or you can download the Winter Tot Scouter plugin from the Runelight plugin hub. This will then enable you to see the remaining health on all four mass worlds, which will then enable you to find a world with around 55-60% to health remaining. The lower the remaining health, the faster you can get that XP drop, however if the health is too low, you'll get nothing. I personally don't hop to a world if it's below 55%, however I do have friends that have completed rounds starting in the high 40s. It really all depends on how fast the health is dropping and how efficient you're playing. On the topic of efficiency, my last tip is to always carry spare logs in your inventory. It's okay to stand there and fletch some of your logs, but you always want to have some left over to fill your downtime. Anytime you're running to or from the brazier, you want to be able to fletch a log to make the most of your time. Similarly, anytime the brazier goes out, you can light the brazier and then fletch a log on the following game tick, resulting in you completing two actions at the same time. 